I will ask you something. Imagine that you are living together with your partner in your country, you are having perfectly fine life and then you would decide to move to the totally other country to start the life from the beginning again. Why would someone who is living a perfect life would suddenly shut it off and move abroad to start a new life probably in the worse country than you are? Today, because of the weather is horrible again, it's raining surprisingly during this horrible winter in the Czech Republic, there was nothing else to do. We decided with Gwen we will go for grocery shopping in the morning. I actually found one mall here in this city, which I, am I found very interesting for the pictures. It was more like a storage, but the storage with huge amount of products, vegetable, fruits, meat, bread, drinks and with actually good prices we went there i actually like the structure how it's situated it was actually a nice store i enjoyed shopping there it was that's how we started this morning and we will move to the discussion of today hello guys welcome back to our channel and in today's video we will answer the couple of questions we got from our very good subscriber. Thank you for the comment, Dale. Currently, I'm alone here. Gwen is right next to the room. We will see if she will join or not. But let's start with the first question. Dale was mentioning that Gwen is getting much more better of living here in the Czech Republic, getting keen on the new culture, the new life. The first question would be is Gwen getting better in everyday life here in the Czech? Well I can say absolutely yes in comparison let's say last year. It can be kind of harsh for someone who will come to the Czech Republic not knowing the language, not knowing what's the culture, not knowing how it works here. Gwen is slowly managing all those daily activities perfectly. The only thing which makes the life for Gwen still tough here is the language barrier. We are still planning to go to the Philippines next year, so we both agreed it would be not very useful to learn the, the Czech language right now, because maybe Gwen will not need that anymore in the future. The Another question, are we still considering moving to the Philippines? <coughs> the answer is yes, we are still. We are planning to go to the Philippines next year January or February, we will see what will be the situation about the money and the flying tickets, if it will be affordable or not, if there will come any other complications which could longer the process of moving. We are still not agreed on the exact date, but the plan is still that we are going to the Philippines and start living there. I'm very excited for that day when we will finally move out from this room we are renting, we will pack all our things, we will get the box, we will leave everything behind here and we will move to the Philippines and start living there. The good thing about this moving will be that one of us is actually the citizen of the Philippines, which is Gwen. So I will not be like struggling that much if I would go there alone, not knowing anything, not having any like guide who will help me with everyday struggles. I'm actually happy for that, that I will not be alone because of Gwen. Is it good? <laughs> Yeah. Good. That's important. Also, knowing the fact about how the life in the Philippines can be, like how hard it can be, what Gwen was telling me and sharing me and what I could see, what I could hear, what I could read. It's totally different world from the Europe, from the Czech Republic, what I'm living here. It's gonna be quite a challenge for me, but I cannot say I can manage that challenge, but what I can truly say that I'm ready to accept this challenge and I'm going to do everything to pass and to stay there as long as possible. Why are we thinking about moving to the Philippines when we are living like when we are having the fine life here. We already know with Gwen that if we will decide, if we would decide to live here in the Czech Republic, we can have pretty good life, we can set a family, we can get our own, own living. If, if it's living in the city or having a house in the village, we can manage everything. What we don't know yet, if we can manage the same in the Philippines. That's why we are planning to go to the Philippines and try the life there. Try if I can find the work there, for sure Gwen can find the work there as a citizen but if I can try if I can find the work there if we can find 
our living, if we will make enough money to buy a house or build a house and things like that. Just the casual living, just like we have here, we are planning to have the same in the Philippines. The another question is what are the reasons why I want to move abroad to the Philippines? This question will have a couple of more points. The first point why I want to move to the Philippines and move abroad is that I never in my life experienced living abroad. I was in the Philippines before, I spent there like one month, but it was just a vacation. It was nothing like I was trying to settle down there or like that. Also, me and my sister and my friends, we've spent about two months in Scotland, but also we were working there knowing that after those two months we are going home to the Czech Republic so also we were not planning to settle we were still like working and enjoying like there we were still like a teenagers it was nothing serious for us what I really want to experience like going abroad knowing that I cannot come back to the Czech Republic and I have to do as much as I can to stay there to live there to survive there that's one of the main reasons why we are planning to move to the Philippines. Another reason is I would like to experience how does it feel adapting to the new culture. Here in the Czech Republic I'm keen on our culture, which is fine for me as a Czech, but I already know that the culture in the Philippines is totally different. I have experienced that during hanging out with the people, meeting the people, meeting strangers there. And you can already feel the country is different. As a foreigner who wants to settle in the different country, it's you who has to adapt to their culture. Nobody will be adapting to your culture as a foreigner, of course. The another reason what I believe but I'm not sure about is that the life in the Philippines can be more enjoyable. The Filipinos are still stating the phrase it's more fun in the Philippines. I can say my one month stay in the Philippines was one of the most enjoyable days in my life. Of course not every day can be joyful, there are good days and there are bad days but I believe the life in the Philippines can be full of joy. Talking about the joy of the life in the Philippines, every day can be actually enjoyable. Every day is the warm weather, every day you can go outside, do different activities just like swimming or hiking or going to the waterfall, swimming in the sea, anything. On the other hand, I know that there are two seasons in the Philippines, rainy season and summer. And probably during those rainy seasons, which can be quite heavy, the flooding can come, landslides, things like that, catastrophes, will not be much enjoyable for sure. Here in the Czech Republic, I'm not really like fan of winter. The cold weather here in the Czech Republic is, let's say, seven up to eight months a year it's cold weather and just those four months left is like warm during the summer and the rest of the year you are just struggling in a cold weather there is nothing much to do i'm personally a huge fan of skiing and snow activities i love those i every year i go to skiing but if i could choose i would prefer all the year when it's warm weather and if i could pick just let's say one week of snow i it would be totally enough for me to go just skiing enjoy my time and then go back to the warm weather i consider myself as a water person <laughs> if i will explain everything i've learned how to swim in a very young age i was already drawn to the water before i could even walk by my grandparents that was them who taught me how to swim and since ever i was always during the summer if you did not know where is jacob jacob was always in the water if it was the river or if it was the lake or in the pool jacob was there with that passion of water came the love for diving my parents bought me for my 18th birthday i guess the curse for free diving i took my exams i got the licenses for being a free diving diver and every year if there is a chance and i can go somewhere to the vacation to the sea i always enjoy every second i can spend in the sea diving exploring the underwater feeling underwater is totally different quietness and just the noises of the stones hitting on the ground of the ocean that's something what i really like and it brings me to the thing once we are still here in the next two months i'm planning to take another exams for being a scuba diver 
getting my licenses and also the thing what came on my mind before when I was already when I was already having licenses for freediving, I decided to make my licenses for scuba diving, get those couple of free licenses. It will not be done immediately in just a couple of months. You need, much, you need a lot of experience, a lot of exams, a lot of theory, a lot of dives. The amount of dives which is required to get to the higher licenses and maybe in the future I would get the license with which I'm capable to become a diving instructor and with that maybe i would get the job in the philippines as a diving instructor it could be a nice job for me connecting the things which i like and sharing the experiences to other people but that's still just talking about the future which is really far away from this moment the other reason the other reason for me which i noticed here in the czech republic we are living in quite of order Everything has its order, such as transportation, having a job, living, medical things. Everything what comes on your mind is in kind of order, which is, I can say, quite depressing because everything is the same. Everything is still going in the circles. Nothing is changing. Once you will come to the Philippines, you will experience a huge chaos. And when I was there, I could feel some kind of magic in that chaos. Nothing is working properly. Everything is going to break down if you are planning on something you are having a perfect plan it will go wrong because of the chaos of the philippines but it was something what i was feeling like a magic and after living all my life here in the order the chaos is something what's dragging me to give it a try the one last reason of moving to the philippines is that here in the czech republic people living here in the czech republic we are the nation of people who are complaining about everything and all the time people in the czech republic we have everything what we need we have money we have stable job we have good medical care amazing transportation roads are perfect food is accessible any other appliances are accessible and people are still complaining i can say i'm not one of them i was before but i realized that i'm really complaining about everything all the time and this realization came out after i came from the philippines because in the philippines people have nothing some of the people have horrible life state there they don't have proper house they don't have enough food to feed their family and not even themselves but still people are happy there people are smiling people are willing to talk to you having nice conversation that's what i don't understand why we are here in this country having everything but still not being happy if you will come to the czech republic you can expect the most of the faces you are going to see around are going to be like sad or mad faces and once you will come to the philippines it's totally opposite it's totally opposite what i still don't understand how is that possible maybe i will find out once i'm living there struggling in life but during the adapting to the culture maybe the people will change me and i will start enjoying that shitty life but still i will do my best to escape that shitty life and for sure that shitty life will will come at first when we will come there when we have nothing it's gonna be hard life not really comfortable just like here but we both with gwen are ready for that gwen is actually more ready than me because she experienced that i've never experienced that in my life that's gonna be a challenge for me the another question was if we would decide to move abroad but we would not pick the philippines what another country we will pick well if we would plan to stay here in europe it would be one of the southeast countries such as spain or portugal where where is still warm country actually <laughs> that's actually one one and only reason we are looking for from moving abroad if we would decide to go to asia we with Gwen were talking about maybe trying in Thailand. It was like a little talk, nothing serious because our main focus is for the Philippines. And here we are reaching to the last question, which I was mentioning in the beginning. Why would someone who is living a perfect life would 
suddenly shut it off and move abroad to start a new life probably in the worse country than you are well Gwen came here more than like one and a half year ago she left everything behind to come to me here we started living together with Gwen we got married we settled down here and living happy life but Gwen left behind her whole family there in the Philippines Filipino people are mostly focused on the family family stays together you will find out once you will come to the Philippines and you will visit some and some family would invite you for example though to go for a dinner or for lunch you will find out the whole family is living under one roof the kids parents grandfathers grandparents cousins aunts aunties it could really happen it's like that and family stays together children are staying with their parents once the parents are old the children takes care of them that's how it is here in czech republic it's mostly like once the children become the age let's say 20 25 we are moving out from our parents house most of the time that's the thing which is required from us to move out from the house becoming more independent which i don't really consider like a bad behavior from our parents i remember when my father told me like once you are 25 the exact day if you are still in this house you are going to pack your things and you are going out that was kind of ultimatum for me and actually i extended that for over one month because i was 25 last year gwen was already here we were still arranging all the things about the visa about the marriage about the documents gwen needed for her stay in the czech republic and we were really not ready we did not have time and we did not even have budget to moving out from my parents house but it came in the month of april we moved out from my parents house so they can finally have the peace on their mind i also found it like very uncomfortable once the once i was living with my wife together under the one roof with my parents we did not have enough privacy me with gwen and also my parents all of us require some kind of privacy i decided it would be it will be much more better to move out so all of us will get peace of their minds but going back to what I was talking about, how is the family oriented in the Philippines? I took Gwen from her family, I took a Filipino citizen from its family and I know it must be like quite hard for Gwen and I can see that every day, I can see it on her and she's really missing the family. That's why we are going to the Philippines and trying to start the life there. I believe I can manage that without seeing my family seeing my friends of course i will miss all of them so much but i can manage that much more better than gwen i don't want to say that gwen is kind of weak person gwen is one of the strongest people i've ever met in my life she went through so many horrible things in her life and there is no need that she has to go through missing her family more that's why i'm going to lift up some of the weight from her and adding it to me and that's all guys that's all the answers i wanted to answer today today it was quite different me i always make videos together with gwen this time it was just to me i can say and i can see that and i can hear that and you too that i'm not really like a talker i still have to improve my english language my pronunciation my grammar everything the nervosity is huge my heart is beating it's always i always feel much more comfortable when gwen is sitting here right next to me because she is the one who is perfect english speaker but this is the thing i'm trying to improve myself last time in the previous video it was more like it was more like that the gwen was talking she opened up a little you could get to know gwen better this time it was me talking so you could get to know me better i hope the point of view you have about me right now did not change to worse i believe it changed to better and i hope in the upcoming videos it will be getting better better and better i know that i'm not perfect i can admit it myself i am a man man can admit their mistakes imagine the gwen is sitting here right now a woman generally cannot admit mistakes 
The mistake is always sitting next to the woman. Guan is complaining from the other room right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm believing that the weather in the Czech Republic will realize that it's been cold, rainy and snowy for a very long time. And me with Gwen require warm and sunny weather so we can finally go out from this place and make vlogs outside. That's what we are waiting for. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, you can hit the like and subscribe button. If you are new who just discovered this channel, my name is Jacob. If you will watch our other videos, the pretty woman who is making videos with me is my wife Gwen. We are the Filipina Checking YouTube channel. Take care always guys and see you in the next video.